In this tutorial, we are gonna see why do we need to remove stop words and how to do that. Let's begin. Let's say we have these three sentences and we have to figure out the sentiment of these three sentences. Now let's look at the first sentence. It is the product is good. Obviously sentiment of this sentence is positive. How? Because the word good is there in the sentence. That is why it is positive. Now what if we ignore these two words, the word the and is. Still we are able to tell the sentiment of this sentence because the words product and good are enough to determine the sentiment of this particular sentence. Similarly, even if we ignore the word A from the second sentence, we are able to tell the sentiment of this second sentence. Bad product is enough to tell that this sentence is negative. Also in the third sentence, without and we can tell the sentiment of this particular sentence. Which means all these stop words are just supporting words. They are not at all adding any value to the data set. So simply we can ignore them. So after removing stop words, this is how our data set would look like. However, in some use cases, we have to keep the stop words. But in this use case, I mean in the sentiment analysis use case, these stop words are not at all adding any value. So simply we can ignore them. For removing stop words, we are going to use a library called NLTK. NLTK is a very very important library for text preprocessing. So if you are someone who are going to work a lot on text data, then you must be familiar with NLTK library. Now let's open a notebook and let's see how we can remove stop words using NLTK library. Okay, first we have to install the NLTK library. For that, we can use this simple pip command, pip install NLTK. Then here we have three sentences. From these three sentences, we are going to remove stop words. For that, we have to import stop words from NLTK library. Let me do that. From NLTK.corpus import stop words. Okay, now I'm going to create one variable stop underscore words and I'm going to store all the stop words in this variable. Inside this function, we have to pause the language which we are working on. So now let's see what are the stop words are available in the English language. So these are the stop words which are available in the English language. Now let's check the length. There are 179 stop words. If you want to add any special words or if you want to add your own stop word, simply you can do it like this. Stop words dot append x, y, z. So if you want to check, you can go and see it like this. Yeah, it is added. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a function which will take the raw text and it will remove stop words and it will give us the clean text. So let's do it. Def remove stop words. Okay. So inside this function, I'm feeding text argument. Okay. Now the very first step we have to do is we have to lower the text. Okay. Text equals to text dot lower. Then what we are going to do is we are going to split the text. Text equal to text dot split. So now let's return it. Now let's call the function inside the function. Let's feed sentence one. Now we have split the text into words. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take each and every word and we will check whether this particular word is there in the stop word or not. If that simply remove otherwise keep it. Okay. So for word in text. Okay. If word in stop words then text dot remove 
wall that's it now let's see so we have removed stop words we have only the important words now what we have to do is we have to simply join them join text that's it now let's try with sentence 2 bad product sentence 3 average product that's it